And once again, it's a good lab. If you get access to this notebook, you can follow every single step. Copy that. Let me go. To, let me take you through everything else as that's happening. Uh, in this third cell, as I'm waiting for this to finish running, what's happening on this third cell? This third cell is basically I have actual raw photos. My code won't understand if I won't understand anything if I show. My my AML won't understand anything if I show it raw photos. So I need to work on the data. I need to work on the data a bit. I need to normalize it. I need to do a lot of stuff. And for this model, because we're creating our own convolutional network from scratch, there are trade-offs. Rather than feeding actual photos with colors to our AI model, we'll take the photo, flatten it, make sure every photo in our data set has the same, has the same dimensions, width, and length, and then we do something weird. We remove colors, because color is an extra dimension. Color is an extra dimension to our, is an extra dimension to our training data. And please be here. So that's what's, what's happening here. You retort the image, the, the, the all methods. Rotating, blurring, loading the image class, loading the data. My AI model don't understand raw photos. So I have to take the photos, convert it, I get a matrix representation of it. And I'm doing all that manipulation here. Next is, remember what I'm saying? Remove color. Normalize, make sure every, ima every image has the same length and width. And then preprocess calls all those other functions to basically gray image and then returning, return normalized ima images. All these are trade-offs and we'll see how it pays off at the end. Each layer, if you see model dot anything, it's me creating a convolutional neural network and adding layers to it. Uh, are we done? Oh, it's a time it's a time order. Can I check if there's anyone else running my collab with me? Okay, so, so we can't have this. I should not be getting time with others. Uh, let's run this again. Um, if you do not believe me, I'll open my Google Drive photo. My Google Drive. You can see this folder called data has actual 400 photos of hot dogs and actual another 400 photos of not hot dogs. Uh, you may ask me why I got this data, Kaggle. It's actual Kaggle data set. And what I did was put them together because hot dogs are separated into training set and the a training set and uh training and a testing set so I put them all together for that and I'll, I'll show you why that's really important in the next few steps. <laughs> 